go. Rise and shine. Let's go. Uh oh. Oh, God. Well, almost anything. What? Oh, I don't know about that. Good morning. <laughs> morning. Morning, Shasta. Yeah. Megan, how are you feeling? <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. Uh, I'm nothing. If I have to touch these things, I am literally going to have a mental breakdown. What's the matter, guys? Uh, I'm definitely freaking out. I saw the snake eyeing me down. Ugh. <laughs> as you can see, I've brought in many exotic animals that many cultures view as delicacies. Oh, God. I'm going to die. In Cambodia, for example, tarantulas are a staple, and they cook them by deep frying them. Then there's that iguana over there, Mr. Friendly. They are used in stews throughout El Salvador. Then there are the rats. Oh, but in the far reaches of Vietnam, rats are used in soups. I'm not eating any rats. I don't give a fuck if it's a delicacy. This is, oh my god, no, no, no. And over there, we have two Slytherin snakes. There's two in there. Wait a second. Where's the other snake? Uh, what does he mean, where's the other snake? No. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. Funny. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, oh, God. Come on. Oh, shit. Come on. Come on. I'm not sticking around. Sayonara, bitches. I'm out. <laughs> there are some really creeped out people. I ain't afraid of this big rubber snake. Come on, man. Josh, you just jumped like six oh, feet. Excuse yeah. me. If only you move like that in service, <laughs> uh, we'd have a dream team. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Honestly, one rubber snake? Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, haha, -ha, funny. The one fell. We all fucking shit a brick. If it happens again, I'm using my teammates as a shield. It's not fair. It's raining snakes. It's not cool. Wow, wow, wow. Guys, you really jumped there. OK, time to get ready for your next challenge. Thank you, James. Beneath each dome, there is a delicious, exotic protein. When I reveal the protein, do not hesitate. Because the first person from the blue team, the first person from the red team, grab the protein, will cook that protein. As soon as he opens that dome, if it's definitely like a meat that I can handle or I think I can cook, I'm running towards it because I did not want to get stuck with some creepy thing like tarantulas. The first protein is ostrich. I'll go. I'll go. Why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Randy, you got it first. Randy and Christine, you're cooking with ostrich, yeah? The second protein is alligator. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, uh, Millie. You know, I've seen Crocodile 100 million times, so I would have wrestled that alligator. I know I'm a damn sure make it tasty. Andy and I are going to reveal the last two proteins at the same <laughs> time. <laughs> we have wild boar and elk. Nice. Me? Uh. What the fuck's a wild boar? <laughs> Holy shit. I shoot wild boar all the time when I was stationed in Louisiana, and I got an ostrich. I might have screwed myself. Michelle, you don't have a protein. No, chef. Which of the four proteins do you want? Alligator, chef. Alligator. Okay, thank you. Your 40 minutes starts now. Let's go, guys. Grind this up. I'm going to make an ostrich burger. Ostrich burger? Nice. I think Randy is a one-trick pony because you can't just keep serving burgers. You need to step outside the box before your luck runs out. Does anybody have a lemon? First, snakes are raining on me, and now I have to figure out what to do with alligator. I've never used alligator before, but I hope Chef Ramsay loves it. Oh, good. One minute to go. Oh, my god. Come on. Let's go, baby. Behind, behind, behind. Five, four, three, two, behind. one, and serve, guys. Well done. Red team, Michelle and T, you cooked the alligator, right? Yes, yes chef. chef. So you've got one minute as a team decide whose dish you're going to present. Hurry up. Right. Taste. I mean curry, guys. Taste, Taste it. Right. Sauce. Right. Right. Taste. It's the curry right there with coconut rice and Asian veg. Ooh. Where's yours, T? Right here. I know T didn't taste my dish, but I tasted hers. Pretty good. You want taco? Yeah. All right, taco. Corn tea. So 
We went with the tacos. Okay, ladies, who are we dropping? Uh, mine, Chef. I'm really disappointed right now because I feel like I've proved myself so far in this competition, and it's like everyone's ignoring that fact. Let's begin with the battle of the elk. Alison and Nick. In today's Exotic Meats Challenge, all three judges will taste each dish and award points on a scale of one to five. Nick, yes, describe the dish, please. A warm spice elk, and it has a parsnip puree. I think it's actually really beautiful. It's pretty. Take your shot. Take it, please. Even though the dish is beautiful, it's really yeah. bland. Yeah. I think salt would have taken you to another level. It's screaming seasoning. How would you judge that? Score out of five. Let me give that a two. I'm going to stay with two. Mm -hmm. uh, I agree, so I'm a two. Alison, describe your dish, please. A pan-seared elk. I have a bit of potatoes and also some sautéed bok choy. Visually, John? Uh, it looks pretty immature right now, just by the cut of the potatoes. People eat with their eyes first. If it looks like shit, they don't expect it to taste like shit. So I hope it's disgusting. What would you give that out of five? Three. Three. Okay. Nice. I would give it a two. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to give it a three. Uh, it tastes way better than it looks. Thank you, Chef. Sorry, Nick. Mine tastes way better. Eight to six. Come on, Macy. In the battle of the wild boar, executive chef Megan is presenting her seared boar with vegetables. John, how was that for you? Seems safe to me. Vinny. Everything kind of just went like salt and flat. Uh, John, how would you mark that out of five, please? I'll give it a three. I'm going to give you a two. For me, it's a three. These guys are fucking badasses. They're fucking rock stars. And I gave them safe. Great. Awesome. OK, uh, Josh. Josh's pan-seared boar is accented with roasted pepper sauce and is served on a bed of cauliflower puree. Your cauliflower made everything else kind of muddled. Slightly undercooked as well. Vinny. I'm going to give him a three. I'm going to give him a two. I'm a two. With the women up by three points, it's time for T and Millie to present their alligator dishes to the judges. These guys know their gators. First up is Millie's blackened alligator with grits. I think it could use a little salt. You were there, though. You had the right direction. Yeah, I think it had room for improvement. I'm going to give it a three. I'm going to give it a three as well. I agree. Three across um, the board. Thank you. Up next, the dish that the red team selected over Michelle's, T's fried alligator tacos. For me, it had great flavor. Yeah, I mean, it's got everything. It's got the acidity, it's got the heat, it's got the crunch as well. So yeah, good job. Scores, please, Vinny. Three, please. I'm gonna give it a four. Um, four. Thank you, sir. At this point, all I want is that W for the fucking team. That's all I want. It is all down to the battle of the ostrich. Let's go. With the women ahead by five, the men are hoping that Randy and his ostrich burger. Oh man, I love a burger. Can score a lot more points than Christine's marinated ostrich on a bed of orzo. John, how's that, sir? The carrots, the orzo, the sauce was good. Mm -hmm. But the actual meat, which is the star of the show, was mm -hmm. a little bland. It was a little safe for me. I'm going to give you a two. I'm going to give you two as well. So I'm a two. Wow. Six. If Christine had a bag of tricks, this would have been the time to pull it out. With the women holding a sizable 11-point lead, it all comes down to Randy, who'll need to score higher than any other man has so far to clinch a victory. Randy, please, describe your dish. I used the bacon grease to try to incorporate some fat into the ostrich when I made my burger. I'm worried at this point, because without Uncle Randy pulling out at 12, you know, we lose this. Gents, visually. Man, that really looks like crap. What, even though it looked like Duke, yeah. it tasted great. Yeah. Thank you, Chef. I'm going to give you a four for this. Yeah, Randy. <laughs> I'm going to go four, two. Four, two. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a four, two. Yeah, great Thank job. You. Thank you. Yeah. Men win. Thank you, Randy. Like one point. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Oh, yeah, shout out Randy for pulling out an ostrich burger. Woohoo! Blue team! Michelle, can we just have a quick taste of your dish? Two of them made alligator, and of course they had to drop one. So they picked? Yeah, they picked some little taste of that. Describe the dish, please. It's an Asian-inspired alligator curry with coconut rice. That was the best dish of the day. Uh, oh, I would have given that a five. Wow. Good job, Michelle. Wow. I'd probably give that a five as well. I would have given it a five as well. This is just great. We're going to hear about this probably for the duration of the fucking competition. 
Morning. Morning, Morning chef. chef. First of all, do you enjoy hunting? Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go. Oh, my god. Well, we're always looking for the next crazy thing that Chef Ramsay's going to have us do. I'm all for it. Oh, my god, it's a oh, jungle. Awesome. It's like Jurassic Park. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. Where's Tarzan? I want him to swing by in a loincloth. That would be just. Right, red team, blue team, welcome to the Hell's Kitchen jungle. Welcome to the jungle. And this is where you're going to be hunting. Now, listen carefully. For today's challenge, all of you will be creating a stunning dish using exotic meats eaten by early humans. Some of the game meat that our ancestors hunted and cooked has come back into style. Chefs, please. Wow. Hi, Chef. Come on, Jackie. On each of these racks is the name of three different unique meats that all of you will be cooking with. Boar, venison, and elk. This is right in my wheelhouse. My dad's got a bow hunting ranch down in Texas called the Hoot and Holler. And all we do is hunt wild boars down there with bows. In this incredible first ever Hell's Kitchen jungle, you'll find all the ingredients you'll need to complete that incredible dish. Oh, Lord. When I say go, the first chef from each team will grab a spear very carefully don't dare throw it. I have to cook for your life. I'm a little nervous with the lease and the spear. You'll run into the jungle <laughs> and you'll search and stab any ingredient that you want. Is oh that clear? Yes, yeah, chef. Now, Manda, Robin, you're up first. Manda, wild boar. There you go. And Robin, venison. Now, your three minutes start. Now, let's go. Come on, Robin. In today's challenge, the chefs will take turns spear hunting five ingredients they will use in cooking each of the three exotic proteins. Butternut, apple. Each ingredient they choose must be used in their dish. Go, go, go. Come on, Michelle. What am I going to get in this jungle? I don't want to take too long because I don't want to lose any time for our team. Do you got carrots? Carrots. Okay, cool. Straight cool, cool. carrots. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Oh, oh shit. almost stabbed Jennifer. Oops. Sorry. Not sorry. Come on, Jennifer! Let's go! We're under a big time crunch here, but it certainly feels good to get some aggression out. It's stuck in the floor! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> ah! For fuck's sake! <laughs> sorry, Chef. What is that? It's you. Hurry it up, hurry up, just get something! Where are the nuts? Walnuts, there. <laughs> Go, 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 go. 10 seconds, let's go. You need color on the plate. No, I don't take bok choy. Leave that No, thing. Barbie, we already have Swiss chard. Barbie, why would you grab bok choy? Five, four, three, <laughs> two, go, man. one. Oh, that good. is it. Good job, Ben. Wow. You'll all have 45 minutes to compose a stunning dish, given these exotic meats a very modern flair. Your 45 minutes start. Now, let's go. Go, 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 go. Everybody meet with your partner and make sure you're not duplicating the dish. Right here, man. The teams must now create dishes. Where are the bowls? Featuring their game meat and all five speared ingredients. You gotta clean off this silver skin, okay? Okay. Two chefs from each team will cook the same protein, except for Nick. You guys got this. Who is the only person cooking venison for the blue team. What are you doing? Seared venison, sauteed, braised kale. Michelle, this dish today is totally a statement piece. Like, who's the weakest link? I don't think so. Five minutes remaining. Five minutes, Chef. Come on. You fucking assholes. This thing's way too hot. Why is that oven up like that, you guys? The oven is turned up to 475, which I think is insane. Sabotage. We are down to two minutes, red team, blue team. Right behind. Finish your touches. Got to plate. Come on. This is still fucking raw. Get me a hot pan, please. Hot pan is here. Oh, Lord. I don't know what kind of noise a boar makes, but it certainly was talking in that pan, OK? Come on. Uh... Come on, Amanda. You can do it. Shay, I'm sorry, guys. 30 seconds remaining. Robin, please. Why so behind, Robin? I'm plating right now, chef. Let's go. 10, 9. Where's your plate? It's right here. It's right seven, here. Move, 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 move. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, and stop. Right, let's start off with the Battle of the Boar. Let's go. Come on, guys. Chef Ramsay, John Shook, and Vinny Dottolo will judge all the dishes of each protein, and then we'll pick a winner for each round. So I have a walnut-crusted wild boar loin, some southern-style braised collard greens with Brussels and bacon. 
How that taste? I actually really love the crust. The meat and the collard greens go beautifully together. I think the dish plays really strong. The season's nice. Thank you. My Southern Charm's bringing it home. Chefs can taste that south in his mouth, baby. It's now the moment of truth for Manda's board chop with apple and fennel. Could you tell us how you cooked the piece of meat, please? I seared it and basted it and then put it in the oven. And then last minute, I sliced it and I just gave it a quick sear. You put it back in the pan after you cut it? Yes, I did. It really hurts the overall dish. Oh, dear. Next up is Millie's rosemary marinated bourloin with deep fried Brussels sprouts and bacon jam. This one just feels like it's a little bit undercooked. To me, the Brussels sprouts are a little greasy. It doesn't work. Yeah, just doesn't work. Right, uh, Jennifer. With Van seemingly still in the driver's seat, Jennifer is the red team's last hope to win this round with her homestyle boar dish. Chefs, I was trying to think pork chops and applesauce. I like the thought process I on do it. too. I think the herbs are very nice with the dish. The apples played nicely with the boar chop. Uh, Jennifer, love what you did with the apples. Spot on. Thank you, Chef. Uh, gents, so the winner of the boar dish belongs to the blue team or the red team? For me, I would pick Van. Blue. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I pulled out the W, baby. Blue team, out the gate strong. Next up, venison, please. Let's go. With the men taking the first round, the spotlight shifts to Nick, who has the blue team's only venison dish. What you have is a warm spice roasted venison with a butternut squash puree. Uh, John, does it taste as good as it looks? It actually does. Nice dish. It tastes exceptional. Thank you, chef. Next, Dana. we'll try to top Nick's dish with a roast venison, yam, and pear puree. Vinny, how was that for you? That felt like the meat could have used a little more seasoning. Yep. Next time, I would just put less meat. Yeah, venison that thick. You know, it doesn't deliver its best texture. Yeah. After Dana's disappointing showing, it's up to Elise and her venison with yam puree to keep the red team alive. This is no ordinary challenge. I'm not paying attention to how the blue team's doing. It's like Michelle came for me, so now it's my mission to outdo her every single time. I love the confidence in not slicing the meat. Thank you. So hopefully you know your temperatures. And when I cut in there, it's nice and perfect. Peace. It's cooked perfect. Yeah. Thank you. With this dish, it really feels like you let the star of the show be the star of the show. Thank you. Hands down, the best dish by Elise. I think Elise actually has had the best dish. Elise, <laughs> great job. <laughs> My life. Michelle, I told you yesterday, Boo Boo, that moving forward, I'm going to be at infinity speed. You better keep up. This is it. We're tied at 1 1, and it's all down to the Battle of the Elk, please. Let's go. Wow. So it's basically coming down to my dish and Benjamin's dish for our team. My fingers are crossed. Hope that my plan to follow Benjamin was a bright decision. Bobby, please describe your dish. I have pan roasted elk with chili braised bok choy. Interesting. The cook is actually nice on the piece of meat. Uh, it's tender, delicious, um, and it's seasoned beautifully. Solid effort. Thank you, chefs. Up next is Benjamin with his juniper marinated elk loin. I think it's a little bit under seasoned. I think it's kind of flat. It needs a little bit of spice. Yes, chef. Wow. Ben is usually one of the strong ones in this competition. So for him not to do good, it's like, we might win this round. Next up is Michelle. Enjoy. With her pan seared elk with chickpea puree. I think the meat was a little bit dry. That's a great shape. Michelle's meat is dry like jerky. In the inside, I'm laughing because she'd be walking around with her nose up in the air talking about she better than everybody. The final dish is Robin's elk with chimichurri sauce. Benny, how's that sound? It's simple, it's nice. It has some nice acidity to it. Thank you, Chef. I love chimichurri. Yeah, did a bit, a bit of a wow. Chimichurri, great idea, by the way. Good job. I think. Gents, tough on this one. Which one would you eliminate? Michelle. You'd go for Michelle. Vinny? Benjamin. Benjamin. So we come down to the top two, which is Barbie and Robin. Come on, Barbie. Never thought I'd be saying that. Gents, top dish is it between Barbie or Robin. The winner of this challenge, I think. I think Robin. I think I would have to go with Robin as well. Uh, Blue team, congratulations. Thank you, chef. Woo! Out of four dishes, my dish was the best. 